It's dark. Some nice blood stains on the wall. There's a fountain of blood with a sparkle on the bottom. I do see that. Paint everything red, red, red. Um, everything looks like it's already been painted red, red, red. I found one candy in that barrel. That was worth destroying this person's things. Red is most charming. Lovely. Beautiful. Paint everything red. Red, red, red. Found one candy. I found two candy. A red pool. Paint everything red. I have the dolly shoes already. They're red shoes, the doll feet. A pair of little shoes made with shining patent leather. A white rose. I could possibly paint the rose red if we want to go Alice in Wonderland. Wasn't Alice in Wonderland one of the books on the um, table? These caskets are not interactable. There's blood around them though. And, oh, <laughs> different types of caskets. I guess the bottom ones are casks and these are caskets. Could y'all stop lighting me on fire? It hurts. There's, ah, a, a clown. What is that? What was that? There's a little, a little, ooh, <laughs> little spooky ghosts are popping up when I walk over there. Let me, okay, this cabinet's empty. Wishing well. Let me check this other cabinet and then we'll talk to this little um, clown doll. Truth is hidden in the wall. What wall? This wall? The cask of Amontillado. I still don't know how to pronounce that. I should have looked it up. The cask of Amontillado. Um, I found a doll head. Oh, that's unfortunate. Skeletons. I found a doll head. It says to paint things red. What do I, how do I paint things red? I, before I leave, I want to paint things red. A red pool, paint everything red, red, red. What does the second one say? Red is the most charming, lovely, and beautiful. Um, a red pool. Let's see. Item. The red shoes are already red. Paint everything red, red, red. Something is floating up. I got a doll body. But how... Okay, I have a doll body, a head, and feet now? Let me see. Um, let me, let me look at my inventory. Item. Doll head with blonde hair and green eyes. Doll body, it'll be adorable with a head. And a little pair of feet. The feet? Okay, so the head and body I can't use here. But the feet... I need to give these back to her. Okay, so it's not gonna let me ruin it. So let me just see, let me put the locket in. Uh, no, it's just gonna examine the locket. Okay, let me try the rose. I got a red rose. Okay, so I am painting the roses red. A red rose, it's painted red. So the feet are an object that I can use to interact with other things. The head and body are going to stay as they are. So clearly I'm going to do something with the feet at some point. Let's head up into this next room. Oh, Flynn, please don't. Um, okay, so we see our little clown friend. We see a pumpkin man and we see a skeleton man. Skeletons. I will read this in just a second. Skeletons. Only the murderer tells the lie. Who is among the three? Only the murderer tells the lie. Okay, so one of you is a murderer and one of you is going to lie to me. You don't have to kill the clown because he was already dead. I didn't kill anyone. I was the victim. Okay, so you don't have to kill the clown because he was already dead. So that implies that he's a victim. He says he didn't kill anyone, which again implies that he was the victim. He says he's the victim, which 
doesn't contradict... Okay, well, these two agree. Because they both are saying the clown is a victim. So... But this... Okay, so it's either the pumpkin man or the skeleton. Um, pumpkin man... You don't have to... But no, pumpkin man is agreeing. So only one of these people is lying. Is it a skeleton man? How do I... How do I say... Only the murderer tells the lie who is among the three. Are, are you a favor, skeleton man? I was the victim. How do I... You don't have to kill the clown because he was already dead. I don't... Oh, there's a guillotine. Okay. Who is lying is written on the floor in blood. It's great. You steal this candy before I do anything here. Am I going to kill a doll? Uh, who's the murderer? The pumpkin, the clown, or the skeleton? I'm going to guess the skeleton. I got... I'm sorry, little buddy. Oh, no. Something fell from the skull. I got a silk heart. What's that? A mirror appeared on the wall. Can I go talk to the other two? Did I get it right? Are you guys okay? Oh, I hate that. I talked to the clown and he, like, bark laughed at me. <laughs> And you did the spooky laugh. Are you guys just like, do you guys have little sound effect boxes for your voice boxes now? Let's interact with the mirror. Um, Miss Charlotte. Where is she? The house is too big. Amelia can get lost in our own place. Is she all right? Oh, Miss Charlotte's looking for us. That's sweet. Where am I? Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Our little person actually does get further away from the mirror, which is... More sophisticated than I would have expected. Like, there doesn't, there doesn't actually look like a mirror here. So, if we have... A mirror object here and when we've looked in the mirrors before we've had some weird reactions um, one of them showed us in inverted colors and then one of us one of them showed us the room in inverted colors but we weren't there if we're seeing ourselves in this like quote-unquote mirror I wonder what these actual mirrors are gonna show us the mirrors will tell you the dark secret hidden in this house oh it broke okay so here's... Once upon a time, there was a prince. He was gentle and handsome and loved by everyone. Flattery from the ministers, infatuation from the ladies, made him wonder. What did they really care about? What is true love? Amelia had some question marks to go along with that. Hmm. Mirrors will show you what is really going on in this house. Oh! So we... That's... I've really been enjoying the... Like, our mirror self has so little room to navigate in, but the fact that she does, like, walk away when we walk away without really moving away is... It, it charms me. <laughs> so, let's see. Oh! Oh! If I examine my mirror over here... Of course, if you didn't have the appearance, if you didn't have this title, who would come to your party or stay by your side? She noticed his confusion and said with a smile, Love is a curse. People lost their mind and manners for it and become moody, pathetic, ridiculous creatures. The ones looking for true love are the most absurd, yet they deserve happiness the most. I can help you find it. Was... If I had interacted with myself anywhere else, would, have I, would I have had any more of a story? Or was that the natural continuation right there? It doesn't seem like it. It was just luck that I interacted with myself there. Because I don't think there's really any visual cue. I just was... Alright. Let's interact with ourselves up here. 
unless it's going to be between those two columns. Between those two columns is probably an actual pathway port. Oh, I'm a pumpkin! I'm a jack-o'-lantern. This mirror... Does the master of the house use it too? Oh! No, I wanted to see what was more... Looks like I'm on a different floor now. It's such a huge house. I have to make sure to bring these feet back. I wanted to go... I wasn't through... Yes, please go back to the dungeon. I wasn't through exploring that room. Okay. Oh, bananas. <laughs> Dag, not it. Okay, so... We're on a new floor now. I'm assuming this is the third floor that we could not go up before. We have a green door. We have a red door. We have a central door. And... A save book. Okay. So, hmm. Next time we will bring the feet back to the little dolly and then come back up here and see what's behind doors number green and doors number red. I will see you guys next time. Bye, friends. Mwah.